It's very important to know the status of climate, which we are monitoring uh, with meteorological instruments. It's important to know year by year what's happening in the real climate and uh, also to see if how well we are successful in climate mitigation. WMO has been reporting these uh, facts to the decision makers and, and, and IPCC has complemented them with their their reports and, and the good news is that this message of, of science community has been heard and, and the decision makers are eager to solve this problem. We will have the next uh, climate conference in Egypt uh, this year in, in, in November. There we expect to see again progress and year by year we have started moving in a positive direction but uh, we are not yet on, on the track towards the Paris uh, 1.5 to 2 degrees uh, target. We have also seen that the mountain glaciers, this melting is speeding up and uh, for example this Mont Blanc glacier is also melting and the water in Lake Geneva, it's, it's partly coming from melting of glaciers and that's one of the long-term challenges related to climate change that we will have less fresh water which is coming from the melting glaciers. It has been shown by several reports that uh, one of the most powerful ways to adapt to climate change is to invest in early warning services uh, so that we know in advance when the storm is coming, when severe flooding is coming or whether we will see a dry period uh, or heat wave. Uh, by having better early warning services we, we can avoid uh, both economic losses and also human losses. And uh, we are just preparing a major package for the, for the next COP27 on, on improvement of the global early warning service skills together with, uh, with several countries and also the COP27 presidency of Egypt uh, we have a common, common goal to improve the situation during the coming, coming five years.